Mira and Dreva taking on Dayana Yastrzemska. Did anyone see this match? That's right. No chill from Dayana snubbing the 16-year-old of a handshake. Ooh, was that brutal. But so was this match. Tennis in a minute. I'm good energy. Dayana given a bagel in this match. What's up with Dayana? Ranked 145th on the world tour. As high as ranked 21st when she was winning championships in 2019. She got smoked by the 16-year-old. Now, this was brutal to watch, guys, because Dayana... She uses very little spin, and all Mira uses is top spin. That's right. She resets to rallies literally every point, and she's just waiting to step up and hit winners. She's strong, powerful, left-handed forehand. Dayana had no answer, and this was just painful just watching Dayana play so defensively. She wants to rush and just speed opponents up and just blast winners. Mira played the perfect strategy against Dayana. Dayana had a horrible day at the office. Six love in the first set. She Barely won two service games in the second set, but Mira gets the victory in no handshake. Wow, she's only 16. Are you kidding me? Go straight to the umpire. But apparently they no, coached Mira her well, so she expected it. Fast forward till today, taking on Anna Bondar. That's right, guys. The Clay Master. Nearly 300 wins on Clay. Bondar struggling. She's dropped to 155th in the rankings. I think she's a top 50 player. Her high is top 50. Now, Mira yesterday against Yastrzemka, we saw her make a couple double faults. Got about 60% of her first serves in play. Won about 65% of those. Today, about the same. Three more double faults. 63% of her first serves in play. She won about 64% of those. Which, by the way, I think is good for a 16-year-old. But she's a big 16-year-old. But Anna Bondar did not come here to babysit. She's not the babysitter. Mira got off to a very fast start, and it looked like she would run away with this match early, up a double break. Then Anna made some ad adjustments, and look, she still struggled to get her first serves in play, Anna that is, but she did get five aces. And when the one she did get in play, she won about 80% of those for most of the match, and that was enough to get the victory over the 16-year-old. Mira was on her best behavior. She's not slamming rackets down. I think she's maturing in front of her eyes. And look, congratulations to her parents, her coaches. But I just want to put things in perspective. When, they're, when you're the youngest in a household of older sisters that probably grew up spanking your butt in tennis, you're going to learn and you're going to grow into a pretty good player, whatever sport that is. Much like Serena Williams, Venus grew up spanking Serena so bad. And look, Serena... That speech she gave at the U.S. Open, her last match, she said, there would be no Serena if, if it wasn't for Venus. That was so beautiful to hear those words because I remember a time when it was all about Venus and Serena was like, oh, that's a little sister. It turned out a little different, right? But Serena, I remember when she was just a little sister. And listen, guys. Mira, I think she's got a bright future ahead of her, but you have to pay respect to big sister Erica. I'm pretty sure they grew up just playing and just beating her so bad that she developed in such a great player that she could probably beat Erica now. Let's just be honest. But did you hear about that story when um, Serena and Venus, they played each other for the first time in a championship? Venus spanked Serena. She got the gold trophy. Serena got the silver trophy. And Venus said the most beautiful words to Serena. Venus said, Serena, you know what? I, I actually like the silver one better. Why don't, why don't you take the gold one? I like the silver one. Unbelievable. Venus is just such a classy woman. And I, I can just imagine from the stories that she was just an amazing big sister. And I'm sure Erica is a great big sister to Mira as well. Mira, though, blows the lead. Anna Bondar, the veteran, gets the victory. Mira is sent home, ladies and gentlemen. Tennis in a minute. Stay tuned for more tennis coverage. This was a good match, though.